I first met Jeff back in 1987 when I started my postdoctoral fellowship in the laboratory of uh, Mark Nepper. And since that time, we've remained very good friends, uh, collaborators, and um, he's been a great mentor too. Jeff and I actually were fortunate enough to visit Aarhus back in 2003. We were there in addition to Mark Nepper, who also has an honorary degree from Aarhus. It feels like a second home. It, it's like family to go back to Aarhus to see my colleagues from Aarhus. Over the years, we've collaborated. I've written papers uh, with Dr. Frokier and Dr. Noregard. I've written chapters with Dr. Fenton. I've been to Aarhus more than anywhere else that I've been in Europe. Well, Jeff and I have been friends for over 30 years uh, now. Yeah, we have several papers together. But I think the more important thing is that we talk to one another about the research that we're doing. We read one another's grants, let me put it that way. And if there's a more thankless job than that, I can't imagine what it is. I think we're incredibly excited about Dr. Sands. Dr. Sands has been a leader in understanding how uh, the kidney concentrates urine. I would say the most significant impact my research has had has really been developing the field of urea transport and urea transporters in kidney function and in the urine concentrating mechanism. This is an important area in physiology. It's an important area in cell biology. It's an important area in understanding how we are able to concentrate or not concentrate our urine depending upon how much water we intake. Jeff has been working on the mechanism of urinary concentration for over 30 years. My group is actually working on novel therapies for rare disease called nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. As we've developed our novel therapy, I've been in consultation with Dr. Soren Riddig in Aarhus. Because it's a rare disease, we need to bring in children from all over the world. What drove me to continue working in this area and moving forward was just a fascination with how the kidney worked and in particular how we were able to concentrate or dilute our urine. It was the interest in the fundamental processes. He's made valuable contributions which is recognized nationally and internationally. Recently, besides receiving this award, he was elected as the uh, president of the American Physiological Society. So the two together really establish him as the uh, thought leader and master researcher that he really is. So now I'd like to Professor do you have Michael Sands to come to the floor, please? So, dear, dear Jeff, what a fantastic introduction. With this short video, we sum up what is, so far, very impressive, a very impressive career of yours, having worked on the mechanism of urinary concentration for more than 30 years. It is of great importance for all of us to understand how the kidney concentrates urine, how the kidney regulates body water, sodium balance, as well as blood pressure. Um, those are processes that are fundamental to life. In addition, disturbances in the regulation of these processes can lead to life-threatening diseases, and in that aspect, also is relevant to everyone here in this room. Therefore, it's a great honor for me to stand here facing a world-leading expert within the field of experimental kidney research, a world-leading expert with an impressive and widely acknowledged contribution to the field. You said it yourself, Aarhus feels like your second home, and here we feel that we are part of a family of colleagues which happily welcomes you as one of on your frequent visits and appreciate the collaboration with you. Here at Aarhus University, we are extremely proud of the long-standing collaboration with you, and we look forward to further increase our interaction with you in the years to come. It is my great privilege and pleasure to confer on you the degree of Dr. Medicine Honoris Causa at Aarhus University. Congratulations. Thank you.